are at it again with Rahi and Roy, American soccer break. It's been two days now since the boys played. And they had a very, very difficult opponent in these guys. St. Kitts. I read a stat that it was the largest, most populated country in North America versus the smallest in North and Central America. So uh, that that's what we had up against us. <laughs> Based on that, how did we do? I want Rocky to go first because I know he's going to be real critical of what I have. <laughs> no, I mean, we did fine. But the question on the table is what did we learn? We learned absolutely nothing. I mean, this is a game against a team, as you said, the smallest population, that the smallest differential in population in the tournament against a team that we're not going to learn anything. And this is taking nothing away from St. Kitts and Nevis. This is their first tournament experience. Well done to them, but this is not a game where you're going to learn anything about anyone on the team, right? What did we learn? Alex Sandejas has one foot. We learned that. Only a left foot. He needs to learn to go the other direction. We learned maybe Brian Reynolds, potentially an option moving forward. But other than that, what did we learn? Nothing. What can you take from a game like this? Nothing. Were they professional? Yes. Did we win? Yes. Check mark. But we didn't learn anything. Why can't we score goals like Brian Reynolds did against like Netherlands? Like how come whenever they try to shoot like you know, chances like that against the tougher teams that lands in the stands. That was a, that was a phenomenal that was a nice goal. Finish. Like that yeah. was like phenomenal. And it was like so confident too. Like, I don't know. Just one thing I want to say about this. It just seems like everyone is more confident, like playing against St. Ketz and Nevis compared to like the better teams. Like the, some of the goals they scored, like those mm-hmm. would have gone in against like top quality defenders and top quality goalkeepers as well. It, that, it just, for some reason the they're point. more confident. Yeah. That's the point I want to make with this game. And it's different from all the other games we play against Island Nations where we win 3-4-0. The goals were quality. The goals would go in against a better team. That Brian Reynolds shot was epic. The Jesus Ferreira goals, maybe one of them where he just kind of taps it. I think it went between the goalie's legs or right next to him. He really took advantage of his inexperience there. But the other goals were beautiful. They're perfectly placed. Perfectly created the Busio's pass, man. To who was that? To uh, he had two assists. He had the beautiful assist from the middle, and then the one where he crossed it back to the middle. Um, so gorgeous goals. But what yeah, did we learn? Uh, I learned a couple things. Well, I, I think we should all learn a couple things. Um, we don't stoop to the level of our opponents anymore like we used to. Uh, we haven't done it lately, which is very nice to see. Um, I think Busio deserves another look. I thought he had a phenomenal game. I think Reynolds deserves another look. I think the team might not stoop, but Zendejas does stoop to the level of the opponent. I thought he had a howler of a game. My goodness, was he poor. Every effort he took, it was just way off target. So that was frustrating. And lastly, Ferreira has two aspects to his game. He has that creator aspect, which we saw a ton of against Jamaica. And he has that all-out finisher, which he had against St. Kitts. So I have a lot more to say about that. So to answer your question, time and space is the difference. Against these teams, you have time Mm -hmm. and you have space. You don't have those things against the Netherlands. You don't have those things against Mexico, for example, right? So it's much easier to operate in space. Mihailovic can make that pass when he has the time, when he has the space. Against better teams, he has, I mean, half that time. And that question is still unanswered. Can these guys do it when they have less time and less space? And I don't think we answered that question. Sure. I don't think we answered that question for most of the players, especially Busio. Busio was elite yesterday because of the opponent. Uh, I would still love to see him against a better opponent just to test that. Theory, I think it's a strong theory, Rocky. Um, but with Ferreira, I want to ask you this. Who has been the best U.S. player so far in the Gold Cup? Considering both games. Uh, to be honest, probably Jesus Ferreira. And, and, and that is, that's the correct answer. I think you're right. The clear answer, right? Including against Jamaica. So I am in agreement with people who say they call him the pirate. He only does well against Caribbean nations. So... I agree with that. I've seen it, but I still think he's capable of doing it against better competition. We are so ruthless when he has one bad game against a good team. 
We never want to see him again. He's had mixed results against the bigger teams. So I'd love to mixed see him results. He hasn't done well. against the bigger teams. Nah, so, I, mean, I don't disagree he's capable, the but the question is, can you do it? And he hasn't yeah. done it yet. That's the problem. Done what? Score? If, if Four so, goals. Then, okay, fine. But, but produce opportunities, create wonderful opportunities that his teammates miss, like Sonora did last game, like Morris did last game. He's been doing it. He didn't do it against the them. Against Netherlands? No, yeah, let's 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 team. talk about okay. So on that point, by the way, maybe, maybe he should transfer to the U.S. Uh, Virgin Islands team then. You know, play for that team. He loves play, play against Caribbean nations. But um, all right. So let, let's let's be totally blunt. So out of these guys, who's pushing for the U.S. men's A team? Um, is is Ferreira pushing for the A team? I say yes, hundred percent. I would rank our forwards as Valgan. Pepe, fill in the blank for third. I wouldn't put Ferreira third just yet. It would maybe I haven't seen Sargent in ages. I haven't seen Haji Wright in a while. I don't think he deserves to be there. I think he's gotten his chance. So I would put third, maybe hold that for Sargent to see how he comes back and performs in this new season. And then fourth, it's got to be Ferreira. I think you can't ignore a guy who's doing this well in MLS, who's doing this well in a U.S. shirt, albeit the Gold Cup. You can't ignore that player. He deserves to be on the A team, just not as a starter until he could prove he could score at least against Canada, at least against Mexico. Okay, Roy, I'm going to give you a few names. Okay, Nicholas Giacchini, Jossi Zardes, Daryl mm-hmm. DK. What did they yeah. all do? If you remember in the last Gold Cup, 2021, I, I, I'll give you the answer because it's a little. They all scored in the second group game against Martinique. The final score: U.S. six. Martinique won. Sure. Are any of those guys anywhere close to the national team right now? Sure. Keeney arguably should have been in the Gold Cup. So, maybe. The first team. I'm talking about the A team. None no. of those no. guys are close to the A team. And they all look pretty darn good in that game. So, my point is, Jesus Ferreira has shown that he can do some things well. Link up the play. He can connect between the midfield and the forward line well. He hasn't shown that he can score against elite opponents. And this game, we shouldn't read anything into this game. Because it doesn't mean anything about him pushing for the A-team. Okay, so who's pushing for the A-team? Is anyone pushing for the A-team? Brian Reynolds. I think Brian Reynolds. I think you have to look at positions where we don't have depth. At one point, we had no depth at forward. That all changed when we got Flo Balogun, right? So it changes the conversation. A guy like Jordi Mihailovic is in a position in the midfield where we have a lot of talent. So he's not pushing for an A-team spot. Now, in the back, there's a little bit of problem when it comes to depth. So I think Brian Reynolds is an interesting option, and he's shown a little bit. Jalen Neal, not yet there, but let's see him against better opponents. That, for me, is the area in defense where we need some players to elevate to the A-team. Yep. I'm going to agree with Reynolds, even though, again, you're saying we shouldn't put any weight on this game, yet you're putting all the weight on this game because that's the last, the only time you've seen Reynolds play is this game. So I'll say Reynolds based on this performance because I am putting some weight into this game. So I will say he's maybe a guy that's pushing. I would disagree with you that Jalen Neal is not ready for an A-team column. I think he is, given who else we have there. The other option is Miazga. I think Miazga has been fine. I think he's been good. Um, if we want an Aaron Long replacement, I would take Miazga over Aaron Long 100 out of 100 yeah, times. Yeah. So if Aaron Long continues to get called up, then I'll say, F that, let's bring in Miazga. I think Jalen Neal is right on the precipice as well. All right, heading into the last game of this uh, round, uh, obviously, you know, uh, mm-hmm. there's more Gold Cup in, in all likelihood for the U.S. national team. So, um, you know, uh, what do you guys want to see about this game? Professional performance, right? I mean, in the end, we're likely going to win this group. I don't know that it really matters because Canada might finish second in their group, the way things are headed. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. Do you want Guatemala? Do you want Canada? Do you want Guadalupe? But in the end, I think what I'd like to see is a little more flair. Uh, You know, I'd like to see us the same kind of performance in the end, to be honest. I don't know. What do you want to see from this game? This is not a good Trinidad team. They Jamaica tore them apart for the most part. Yeah, Jamaica smacked them. And 
it wasn't very close. They started to get back into the game, uh, but then they didn't. So, first of all, I, I want to see us win. I'm less concerned about swagger and things like that. I'm more concerned about getting a result in a game where we should get a result. It's going to be a very, very different opponent from St. Kitts. It'll be closer to Jamaica's quality, but a Jamaica light is what I would say. Obviously not that front three, but they have some quality on that team. They have some decent MLS players. They have some, um, you know, they have guys. Um, so it won't be a pushover. We must win this game. I would like to see a dominant performance. That's what would make me extremely happy. If Ferreira comes out and scores two goals, I want to come back here and analyze that performance and say, okay, he doesn't only do it against the lowliest of lowly Caribbean nations. He does it against the mid-range Caribbean nations. Okay, okay. so the, so the By Caribbean... The way, St. Kitts and Nevis, I want to go visit. So I don't know if we want to call them lowly Caribbean nations. Yeah, let's, I think it's a fantastic, it like a beautiful place. place. So, and also, I think, Roy, they would have these guys would have to blank us pretty badly in order to, to get through. But hey, you know, sure, they, they, it's, it's possible. Yeah, and, but, and tying still gets us through. So you're talking about a yeah. loss. Yeah. Right. Yes. 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 It would have to be a loss. Correct. But if you remember a day in Cuba a few years ago, we did lose to this mm -hmm. team. That's that's the right. thing to be aware of, man. We've lost against teams like this, and we've yeah. done it quite a few times. And we've done it in the biggest game of our effing careers. We lost against Trinidad. So, yeah. I mean, anything's on the table. Our real quick score predictions. What's the score? Yeah, I think it's three zero. The U.S. Roy? a little closer than this one, but but comfortable. I say. Our attack isn't as potent as Jamaica's right now, so I'm going to say two to zero. All right, I will go with Dos Acero as well. And everyone, get excited for this game. It'll be over the weekend. Uh, enjoy it as part of your Fourth of July festivities, and we will come to you after the match, hopefully, to preview the next round of the Gold Cup. Happy Fourth of July, everyone, and have fun. Thank you.